What is going on, everybody? This is Trader Josh. Okay, and I'm here today to talk to you guys about Srivaru. Okay, also known as ticker symbol SBMH. Okay, but before I get started with that, I want to let you guys know that God loves you all. Okay, don't you ever forget it. Okay, and with that being said, I want to let you guys know. That I told you guys, every time an update came out or any type of news, that I would update you guys and let you know what's going on, okay? So, let me just type this in right here, SVMH stock news. If you ever, you know, do this same thing, you know, if you're ever wondering, boom, look at all this. Late, 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 all these are old news. January 2nd, December 14th, and I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I see some new stuff, okay? And if this is if there's more than this, let me know what's going on, okay? And a minute we're gonna look at the charts, but this is all I got for today, right here. Their announces SVMH announces battery test completion and approval for the Indian market. Okay, so they got approved to sell their bikes in the Indian market. Okay, their battery test was completed, so now their battery is accepted in the market there. But there's a lot of good things to say about their battery, so let me just read. Okay, so. The approval for the battery is a standard requirement for high-speed electric vehicles in India. It marks a significant milestone for Srivaru, demonstrating the company's dedication to delivering first in-class products to consumers, collaborating with BYD, one of the world's largest battery suppliers, provides Srivaru access to premium quality components and cutting-edge technology. Okay, the relationships with BYD also ensures a continuous and uninterrupted supply of key components for Srivaru's flagship product, the Prana electric motorcycle. Okay, and as you've seen here, this is the Prana. Okay, so basically, let's see where the BYD, we'll figure out what that is in a minute here. They're collaborating with BYD, okay, one of the world's largest battery suppliers, and BYD you know, ensured them, you know, told them that for sure, y'all will all, you know, they're getting paid, of course, duh, but they told them, look, as long as we're getting paid, as long as, you know, the money's good, the market's good for this bike, we will keep supplying you guys with all the, with all the products and all the, you know, components that you need to keep making these EV bikes, okay, so that's a good deal with them, that's a good deal. Unlike tr traditional aluminum battery packs, which are prone to breakage. Okay, so this is just about, I'm not going to read all that. Okay, pause it here if you want to read it all. All right, now I'm going to tell you, just give you a little short, uh, brief, you know, short, short of all this paragraph. I forget what it's called, you know. I'm going to break it down for you. Okay, so basically they're talking about how their battery is better than competitors because they have ex an extended lifespan with superior power output. Superior power output right here. All right, let's 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 break that down, okay? They're talking about the fact that you can charge this thing, plug it into any cable in your house, you know, inside your house. You know, you plug it in just like you charge your iPhone or iPad, you know, Android, whatever you prefer, okay? But that's what that's about. And it's also telling us that they put steel-based design in their batteries. So if you get in a wreck, let's see, where does it say that? All right, all right, right here. Unlike traditional aluminum battery packs, which are prone to breakage, when impacted at high speeds, Srivaru's steel-based design offers significantly enhanced resilience. Okay, so it's going to be a lot stronger than the average battery out there. And that's what they're, that's at least what they're saying, you know, and we'll probably see more about that in the coming, you know, in the very near future. All right. But until then, this is what we got. This is what we got to work with. Okay. But I hope, I would hope that it's a waterproof battery. Okay. Because, you know, it's a motorcycle in the rain. Okay, buddy. But. I don't want to talk too much about this, you know. Basically, they got accepted. Like, say that they had a patent on their battery, and they had to get it looked at to be, they had to get it looked at to get the okay 
to say, okay, y'all could sell this. It's, it's reliable for the road. You know, it's, you know, it's not going to break down and there's going to be a million Srivaru batteries or, I mean, you know, Srivaru motorcycles all over the map, you know? So they're just basically giving it like a, just a check, you know, like inspection, you know, they're just inspecting the bike, see if it's good. And if it is, then they are approved to sell in the Indian market. Okay. And which they are now. And this news did not give it very much of a push. Okay. So as we see here, and I know there's a lot of people like really in, in, you know, like, I don't want to say in deep, but I want to say like dedicated to this ticker. Like, like, like a lot of people are dedicated to a lot of tickers, you know, kind of like the people who rode GME until it went back down. You know what I mean? Okay. But look, check this out. Sometimes you just got to pay attention to what you see and a little bit less of what you hear, but still some of what you see, you you can't believe. Okay. But check this out i think this is very weird how we had a pool i didn't see this because i was at work but we had a pool all the way from 20 cents all the way up to 24 cents and then back down okay so i'm definitely in the future going to be looking to see us pull at 24 and move sideways on it before we can meet up right here and try to break over it okay and if that happens, I'm going to go ahead and change these to green, okay? I'm not going to say if that happens because time is time, okay? And everything happens with time, you know? So when that happens, that's going to be a good time to be in this thing because from looking at the charts, you can see here, look what happened. If we, if we didn't break 25 cent, then we went down below it, okay? But every time we broke 25 cent, we had a push, a push all the way up to 45 here. We had a push all the way up to 40 here. We had a push all the way up to 30 here and another push. Or no, that's the same one. Okay, but check it out. Look, just look, 25 cent. We had another push to 33. And these are all like 50% 50, 50 profits right here. I would have taken them and gotten out every single time if I would have known about this stock back in them days. Or I wasn't even looking at it, actually. I wasn't even looking at it. Yep. I did know about it, but I wasn't watching it now that I think of it. Because that's February. Tw no, I didn't, I didn't even know about it back in February. Nope. So I didn't even know this existed back then. I would have been swinging this thing and doing the same thing all these people up here that sold. I'd have been doing the same thing they're doing. Because look, those are the people making the money. And look, we could go back all the way. Look, look, 25 cent right here. Boom. We got up to it. Boom. All the way up. 36. Okay. Fell. We, we need to get that support off the 25 cent. We need that 25 cents. Okay. And basically, let's look at it. Let's try to look at it a little bigger, you know, and see what happened. Okay. Because they just got listed on the market. And ever since they got listed, they've just been going down. But could this be either a good buy-in opportunity or could this just be, you know, a short-term play? Well, a lot of people are telling me that they are long-term on this. A lot of people are telling me they're long-term on everything, okay? So I don't know what to, you know, what to believe when I hear that. But I just... I take everything in, you know, I listen to everything I'm told. Like I try to, I try to listen to everybody's opinion and try to put it all in one and figure out, okay, why is, why do these people want to do this? Why, why does, why does someone want to hold this when it's down? Well, maybe because it's down and we haven't seen it go very much below 20, which I don't think we will see 10 or below since because Come on now, guys. Like, we've been holding 20 strong. I think that 20 cents is a perfect buy-in, okay? And for short term, at least. Long term, 100%. You know, if this thing hit $3, you'd be a happy man or happy woman, you know what I mean, to 
I have an average of 20 cents. But that's just dreaming, you know, to the moon talk. If we're being real, just swing it, man. Swing this thing. Every time it hits 40 and you and you see that it's going to drop, you could even wait. All right, you bought in at 20. When it hits 40, watch like this. Look, so we'll have that line right there. We'll just go on from there. Look, when it hits, when it hits 40, 45, any, anywhere between these ranges right here, if you see it drop below 35 right there, sell. Take your profits and wait till it comes back to these ranges right here and then buy back in and do it again. I've done that multiple times with plenty of different stocks and it works every time, guys. It works every time. Stop listening to people when they say hold for a dollar, hold for five dollars. No, when you see you have 50 percent or more, take profits. OK, at least take the money you put in out to where now all you got is extra now all you got is profits, you know. Now you don't lose nothing. You just you don't win anything more, you know. You know what I mean? So, guys, be smart. Okay, you gotta learn. This some there's some ways you do, and there's some ways you don't. Okay, and you just gotta learn. But with that being said, I'm gonna keep this video short. I don't want to keep it long. I don't know how long it's been so far. But thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, let me know what you think about Sriviru. Okay. I'm also looking into a couple other stocks I'm going to mention in a minute here on another video. So stay tuned for that. But with that being said, you guys, that's all I got for you today on SVMH. So I will see you guys when I see you guys.